Just trying to, I'm duking it out with the coach there as to whether he's disappointed, whether that's a, a victory blown or a, or a point earned. You give everything on the pitch, but could your team have been a bit less conservative? That's what we're trying to identify, a bit more aggressive maybe on the ball, not sit too, too deep. Yeah, I think it showed in the last 10 minutes when we did get the ball forward and made forward runs that we created more chances. So it's disappointing, obviously, having Donnell come off at half-time, affected the team, had a little wobble of the first five minutes. But it then turned into more of an attack-defence situation, which we don't want to happen. And we've been there before. I remember Coventry at home, similar vibe about it then. So it's disappointing. And I look at it as two points dropped. I don't look at it as one point gained. So... Well, that shows you how far we've come and it's important also to a bit of perspective. We're now, I think, it's eight unbeaten in all competitions. I know fans will want three points and likewise so do we when you have as many you have, as you have today. It's the most I've played in front of here at the, jo at the John Smith. So, no, we're really grateful and if we can hopefully sort of eradicate those mistakes and, and hang on to the three points. In the second half in particular, Toffs, how much could you sense on the field the, the nervousness, the anxiety on the terraces? I think you always can. I think when you've got the, the perks of the fans, sometimes when we're winning, it can be an incredible feeling when they're behind you. But to be honest with you, I'm, they were incredible when we were, we were in the situation we were in. They, they stayed behind us the whole way. And it's important that we, we keep moving in this direction because you look at the club a year ago, to probably today we're in a complete different situation. So it's about progressions and we're doing that and we're working hard every day to make sure we keep moving in that right direction. I think that is appreciated by onlookers, even people who can't get to, to every game for whatever reason. You've certainly given us a lot more to watch as a team this season, um, although you're still having to wait patiently for, for your attacking chances down the left-hand side. A couple of assists this season, to say the least. Uh, has the... Do you sense from the training ground that the approach has changed this season specifically, even though the head coach is still the same person? Yeah, I think we wanted to be more aggressive. I think the, the plan in pre-season was to be more aggressive going forward when we're attacking, aggressive when we're defending. And we've showed that how many points we've picked up in, in, this, in the time we have in the amount of games. And then against Burnley, the, the, the team that played that game were excellent as well. So you can see it all coming to fruition now. And if we can continue to to make sure that we're improving day in, day out. That's all we can ask for as players. And I hope the fans respect that, that sometimes we all want to win. Sometimes we can't win every single one. You'll appreciate something that we all do as fans, Harry, and that is your new keeper this season. Probably a candidate for man of the match again today. Candidate for player of the season, I think. He's been, he's been exceptional and someone that's coming to this side with his personality and just his sheer presence. I think it's natural when you're six foot four, it's easy to have a presence. But no, he's he's an incredible human being and he's made the dressing room stronger, he's made the dressing room better. And yeah, he's, I hope he now continues his form because it's going to help the side.